Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back with another part in Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part, we battled all, most of these trainers on this route here. And on this part, we're going to head into Bill's house here and see what we have going on in Bill's house. Oh, well, looks like we got ourselves a Clefairy randomly in here. Oh yeah, I'm a Pokemon. Wait, no I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with the skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got it combined with a Pokemon. Well, that just sounds unfortunate. So how about it? Help me out here. This is a tough choice. But I guess I'll be a nice person. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to the PC and run the cell separation system. Alright, we tricked him. We're not going to help him. No, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're going to... Well, I guess I got to talk to him again. I don't think I need to read that again, I just read it. Alright, now we head over to the PC, and we'll separate them up. We initiated the teleporter. And there he goes, heading over in the tube, just like in the old Pokemon trading days. And there we go, there's Bill. Hello Bill, let's, take, let's talk to you. Yeah, thanks bud, I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you, though. Oh, here, maybe this will do. So, this is why you have to come up and help Bill to get the SS ticket, which is what we need to go on a little bit later. I hear there are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand for fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. So, <clears throat> we'll go on and have a good time a little later. I don't think these two are trainers, but if they are, I'll cut. Cape is a famous date spot. Misty the gym trainer. Blah 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 I don't care. Okay. So I didn't finish or I didn't battle the trainers I didn't battle. I will do that off screen in between episodes, the next episode. But what we're going to do now is go heal real quick. And then after we heal, we're going to go take on um next gym which is going to be quite exciting I haven't done a gym battle in a while I think it's been four parts but as I read in the last time we are going to be facing the Cerulean City Pokemon gym leader Misty the tomboyish mermaid so let's see who we're leading off here with um, let's lead off with Spiro see what happens Let's talk to this guy, the Yo Champ and Making guy. Let me give you some advice. The leader, Misty, the pro in who uses water type Pokemon. You can drain all their water with grass type, or you can use electric type Pokemon and zap them. Alright, well, we do not have to face this guy, but I'm going to face him off screen, so I'll be back on the other side. Alright, this guy had a horsey and a shelter. I'm going to go heal real quick, and I'll be back. Alright, now we'll continue our way up here. And we have to face this trainer, I do believe. Yes, okay. Before you face Misty, you have to face this picnicker. What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty won't have to be bothered. Guess she's like a southern belle or something. Whoops. <laughs> picnicker Diana would like to battle. She sends out her Goldeen. We have not run into a Goldeen yet. Goldeen is a, just a water type. It's... Got some decent moves like Corn Attack and um, can somehow learn Peck, which I never really understood. That's just pecking you with your, its horn there. But who knows? But Horn Attack, that's not, it's not too bad of a move. And I do believe it learns something else when it evolves into a Seeking, but I'm not for sure. So don't take my word on it. All it might know for good moves is Horn Attack. But. Fury attack it, that should take care of it, and there goes Goldeen. <clears throat> Spiro might level up? Nope, alright. You overwhelmed me. I don't know how she changed voices so fast, but we're going to heal up our Spiro there. I went off screen and bought some super potions, and I know, not really bang for buck there, but I'm going to save real quick, and we will face Misty. Um, Misty, I do believe only has two Pokemon. It, yeah, starting off with Bulbasaur should make this ba battle a lot easier, but 
Um, Charmander, it's definitely going to be a hard time. Squirtle, decent, decent hardness. But here we go. Hi, ah, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. And here we go. We're facing the gym leader, Misty. Misty will start off with a Staryu. And we will start off with our Spearow. Staryu, that is a decently good Pokemon. So I am somewhat... I have been actually somewhat worried about this Pokemon battle... Or this gym battle. But hopefully we will be able to triumph over... Uh, Misty. Oh, critical! I was not expecting that at all, actually. So, Spearow's gonna level up to level 20, how about that? And now it's gonna stand out Star Use Evolve form, Starmie, and I think we will use. No, we're gonna use War Turtle. Water versus water at. Should help, and we do have a move. Both Spearow and uh, War Turtle have a move that is super effective against uh, Starmie, since it's part water, or it's part water, part psychic type, actually. So we're gonna bite it. Oh wow! Actually, I might have had no reason to be worried about this battle. Bite it again. How about that? One more bite, and this oh come on. <laughs> Got all excited because I thought I was gonna be this gym battle was gonna be easier than it should have been or was going to be, but I guess we're properly leveled for this gym battle. It's just gonna keep swifting. Okay, hopefully she only has one super potion. Isn't it? good, 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 good. And looks like we easily somehow defeated the gym leader. Oh wait, hold on. All right, War Turtle leveled up again. How about that? And we defeat a leader, Misty. Wow, you're too much. Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show that you beat me. And what? Spiro's evolving. However, just like Nidoran, I told you I'm waiting for a specific move for Spiro to learn. So, Spiro, I'm sorry, buddy. Can't evolve yet. But we, this Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 of battle, er, obey you. This includes even outsiders you get in trades. There's even more. You can now use Cut at any time, even outside of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM, which TM03, I believe, is Water Pulse? Yes, Water Pulse. Use an aquatic Pokemon, otherwise known as Water Type Pokemon. So, I think you know who we will be teaching Water Pulse to. Ooh, Nidoran can learn it, but. I believe Water Pulse is a better move than Water Gun. Water Gun is a base power 40. Yes, okay, so we're going to actually get rid of Water Gun and teach it Water Pulse. So, now War Turtle has a much better Water type move. So, nothing wrong with that. And War Turtle learned Water Pulse. Alright. Now I'm going to go heal at the Pokemon Center, I'll meet you outside. Alright, now that we're all healed up, and let's see, I'm going to lead off with Nidoran because it is the underleveled Pokemon out of all of them. I do believe there's an in-game trade in this town. We will take advantage of that later, actually, because I think I'm going to use that Pokemon as a part of my team. But for now, let's head up here to this house that was formerly blocked. The people here were robbed. It's obvious Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. All right, well, it's unfortunate, uh, Officer Jenny. Um, but as you can see, somebody just stomped through the place. We're not going to talk to the people. We're just going to ignore them. And what do we have here? Looks like we got our favorite criminal organization. Hey, stay out. Not your yard. Hmm? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? And as you can see, we got another battle with our favorite team organization, Team Rocket. It's going to send out its Machop, we'll send out our Nidoran, this will actually work out perfectly. Nidoran, peck it to fainting. If I ever say peck it to death, I don't mean it that way, because obviously Pokemon do not die in this game. Except for rumors about Gary's Raticate, but believe it if you want to, you don't have to all speculation. But, as we can see, Machop has fainted. Nidoran, alright, 
we're gonna keep. Ooh, Actually, okay, we're gonna keep you out there, but we're gonna switch out because it's drowsy. It's a psychic type. Nidoran's a poison type. I don't want Nidoran to be. Um, so we're fainted <laughs> by uh, drowsy. Oh, I only did headbutt. I thought I was gonna do confusion. Confusion would have been super effective against. Uh, Nidoran because of the typing, but there we go, confusion, I thought it knew confusion. Drowsy will not be a part of our team, I will be using a different psychic type for my teammate. So yes, spoiler alert, there will be a psychic type on my team, at least I'm pretty sure, oh, critical hit. Um, Fury attack. And, oh wow, you missed again. And it's not, yep. God darn it. Spiro, why do you miss so often? It is annoying. You could have ended the battle. Ah, let's be risky. Come on, Nidoran. Um, I don't know if I should be doing this, but double kick it. Yeah, that was a bad idea. <laughs> One health. No confusion, no confusion. Okay, good. And let's just peck it. There we go, Nidoran should be leveling up actually, and yes sirree, there we go, Nidoran's leveled up to level 20, and now it finally is learning the attack I wanted it to learn before I let it level up, because as you can see, Horn Attack is a base power of 65, so we are going to, I don't really use Leer this much, or that much, so we got all damage type moves for Nidoran, and as I said, that's the move I was waiting for it to learn before I let it evolve. So it looks like we're going to stop. I'll give it. I'll leave quietly. So, Nidoran, it's finally your time, buddy. Get to evolve into your next evolution. What could the evolution be? I guess this will just have to be an intense two seconds before you figure it out. One, two. It's a bigger Nidoran. Otherwise known as Nidorino. So now that we have... Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. So now that we have that TM... Um, actually, I'm going to do two more things before we end this episode. I'm going to first head down here. And as you can see, we are outside Cerulean City and on to Route 5. But before we keep heading south, I am actually going to do two things. One, we're going to teach this new TM, Dig, to Nidorino. And there's a reason for this, but um, let's get rid of Poison Sting, because it already has the Poison Point um, ability, So, and Poison Sting really isn't that great of a move. So, we replaced it with Dig, and... Now, for the second part, we're going to evolve Nidorino already again. So, Nidorino, very short-lived. We're going to evolve Nidorino into what now? Nidoran's growing up very fast. <laughs> but, as you can see, we got a bipedal Pokemon, it looks like, coming up next. Ooh. And Nidorino has evolved into a very ferocious Nidorino which is also known as Nidoking. If you didn't catch on to the pattern with the Nidorans, Nidoran female will evolve into Nidorina, and then Moonstone will evolve into Nid Nidoqueen. So, we're gonna head south some more, and when we get to this door here, I think I'm gonna call it an episode. So, if you enjoyed this part, I would appreciate a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below in the comment section. But, until next time, have a good day.